Hello WayFam from Lares, Peru. I'm Ashley. This is Josh. Welcome to our channel. We sold everything we had to travel the world and now we want to share with you the way away. So be sure to subscribe down below, give us a like, and hit that bell so you can follow more of our adventures. Let's go. And today is indeed an adventure because it oh starts gosh. a three day, two night trek up something called the Laris Trek. We're starting in a town called Laris, that's where it gets its name, and we're hiking up to the top of this mountain. I believe our final altitude will be 4,800 yeah. meters. Yeah, so, so high. <laughs> and our campsite is not far below that, mm -hmm. so. So uh, this video is hopefully going to cover the whole trek, um, all three days. This video is going to have all that. In the next video, we're going to Machu Picchu, uh, mm -hmm. but this is going to be a struggle for us. Yeah, we so. are not avid hikers. So we've never done anything <laughs> like this before, and it's all gradually uphill today. And we're in high altitude. And we're going seven kilometers up, which I'm not sure what that is in miles, but it's not terrible. No. Um, so we'll see how hike. we do. Yeah. We got some little um, sticks. We've never used these before, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it. I'm really hoping to do this right, you know. All right, let the adventure begin. <laughs> Guys, cheer us on. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a bunch of llamas and some mules that are actually carrying up all of our stuff. All of that is ours, and these are our little guys. Hello. Apparently they move in packs, so they, they, they'll huddle together the whole time. If one runs off, they'll try and get back to the pack. Cars going past. We've actually been walking a little bit already. We came up this path, but it's raining, so I didn't have the camera out. It started to rain, so we've had to put our ponchos on. We got some really nice ponchos, actually, to cover up our bags and all our clothes, but I'm so hot that I had to take my alpaca sweater off. My face is probably so rosy and yeah. warm. But so far, it's been just a little in incline. You feeling good? The trail that, that I'm looking at that we're going on, I'm getting a little nervous. Those rocks, that tiny trail, that's where we're headed. We have stopped for lunch, and um, if you've been watching the channel long enough, you know that I've got a bit of a cold still, so they've given us some tea and stuff. But one of the things that they say is really good for altitude sickness, which we're not experiencing a ton now because we've acclimated, but we have been hiking, so we're experiencing a little bit of a headache. These are cocoa leaves. They're famous in Peru. This is what you make cocaine out of. Yes, really. Um, but this, it's not, like if you, if you eat these, you're not gonna get high. So um, <laughs> what they recommend is you can, make it, you can make a tea with them and it helps that your, um, your headache and just your general nausea, or you can chew them. I haven't done that yet, so I figured might as well. <laughs> Here we go. It's dry leaves. And then I think they just spit them out. Really? Yeah. I don't know how long you chew them. There's like no long. flavor. Yeah. Chew them for mm. just until they start to really disappear and then you spill it out. Okay. It's okay to swallow the um, juice, the juice okay. but don't swallow the juice. Mm. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> at first there was no flavor, now it's just like very like chewing grass almost. It's really hard to get out of your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a very sharp, sharp, sharp grass taste. Yeah. Like almost acidic. I think I'm good. Better than <laughs> tea or ch chewed? What do you think? <laughs> Better have some tea and then add mint and eucalyptus or something. Yeah. Okay, we thought at tea time would be the best time to share our new friends with you guys. This is Alex, our local guide. Hey guys, nice He'll to be with He'll keep us alive <laughs> during the trip. And this is Maddie. Hi. She's from New Zealand and she has a pretty cool story. She's been in South America for quite a while. So yeah. we have a small group and I'm super excited to be able to be just intimate, hang out together. And yeah, so you guys will probably see them around as well as us, obviously. This is a valley we'll be walking through. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little kid out there with a bunch of llamas. There's about 50 llamas out there. We'll be walking all through there, up to base camp, about an hour away still. I asked them why you didn't go to the school today. Uh -huh. And they said, oh no, this is one day. This valley 
has been my favorite part so far. There are so many locals out here with their animals. Sheep, llamas, um, alpacas, and they're just in their actual like traditional clothing. This clothing, they don't just wear it for tourists. They wear it all the time and it's so beautiful. I'm, I'm literally in awe at everything and I want to take photos but it's really hard when you're hiking. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. We arrived to our campsite around 5 p.m., which he said is usual for groups unless they're going really, really slow. Um, the clouds have moved in, and when we got up here, the porters had already sent up our tent, set up our tents, and um, our sleeping bags are set up. They set up our little sleeping pads. With um, G Adventures, you can rent sleeping pads, sleeping bags, and those sticks, and then the tent comes automatically with your hike, trek, but Josh and I, we don't carry sleeping bags or the sticks, so it's been awesome to have them, as well as this campsite is done by Planetara and G Adventures. It's part of their sustainable travel. They have over a hundred sites around the world where they get the community, which is just down the hill, and they create a job for them. This job for this community is to take care of this campsite. During the busy season, this campsite is packed full of people and tents. Right now, we are here during the rainy season, so not so packed. Just our little tents, three of us, plus our guide, and then all of our guys that are helping us out, um, bringing all of our bags and the cook and yeah, all those people, but it's amazing. They brought us a bucket full of hot water to soak our feet in, and now I'm gonna go ahead to tea time right before dinner. It is approximately 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Time to bed in for the night. We're waking up at 5 a.m. And tomorrow yeah. we're going to summit. They made a spaghetti dinner for us and it was amazing. So now we're in our cozy little tent. Mm -hmm. Super excited to sleep in a tent. It's been so long. So I guess we'll see you in the morning. Bye. Bye. Doing good, Ash. If you're wondering where we go to the bathroom, put that in perspective. Uh, Mount St. Helens, oh, I think at the beginning. <laughs> 